this is ToolsPlusUSA.com. Uh, today we're looking at hydraulic pumps for car lifts and show you a few things, uh, customer calls I've had. Uh, first, let's take a look at the motor. Um, 110 or 220 volt doesn't really make any difference. One common problem with these is the spline on the motor and the spline on the coupling wears out. Uh, sometimes you can get by with just putting in a new coupling. Sometimes you're going to need a motor and a coupling. Um, on a lot of the pumps you'll see uh, the spline is damn near identical, interchangeable. Some of them do use a little different, but uh, a lot of them are interchangeable. Uh, if the motor's running and the pump's not pumping, uh, this is the first place to look. Put your new coupling in there and a little bit of grease and hopefully that'll solve your problem. Then on top of that motor, on the bottom of that motor actually, is uh, the block that attaches to the motor and attaches to the pump. And here is your release valve. We looked at that in one of our other videos. Now if this valve gets clogged up with a piece of dirt in there or if they didn't make the valve right, I've had a couple of them do that, then this will not seal off and the lift will start coming down as soon as you release the handle, uh, as soon as you release the button for it to go up. And then in here, there's a couple of check balls and some passages to allow the oil to get in and out of. And here's the outgoing fitting that would go to the uh, cylinder. And the block is mounting for your pump and mounting for this to mount to the motor. Uh, the mounting for, for the block to the motor is these four holes and the holes for the uh, motor or for the block to the pump is these two holes and then you have a passage here for the uh, oil to go into the cylinder and out of the cylinder, your return. Now, <coughs> typically this is going to have a return tube uh, right into that and then the pump will have the pickup tube which will also have a screen on the end of it to keep it from picking up the debris. Now all these pumps in these car lifts are going to be gear pumps. Uh, that means it will pick up fluid, it sucks the fluid into the gears, goes through the gears, pumps it out of passage, uh, it goes into the block, into the hose, and into the lift. It's a gear pump, which means these two gears uh, kind of mesh together and suck and push the fluid out through different holes. It'll suck it in one side, pump it out the other. And on the bottom of this is your other end of the fitting, or your other part that goes to the coupling on top of the motor. Then on to the uh, block here is the block that's machined for the actual pump. Uh, the clearance has to be right in here or it won't pump anything. So look, the, look on the walls of that and make sure they're not scarred or chewed up because a little piece of debris can get in there and eat the wall up and then the pump will be working but it won't uh, pump anything because um, there's too much clearance between the gears and the sidewall. And then this goes together on top of here. And then this goes on top of here. And then the whole assembly will go on top of here. Now on this particular unit, there's a check ball that goes right into here. So if this thing starts uh, uh, developing too much pressure, it's got kind of a bypass and dump right back into there. Now, if this little ball right there, there's a check ball, so there's a ball, and then on the other side of that is a spring. So what happens is a little piece of dirt will get stuck between this ball and the seat, and it won't allow it to pump any pressure. So that's another place to look if it will not pump any pressure. So you have your uh, return tube, your pickup tube, your check valve, your block for your pump, your gear, the block for the uh, motor, 
and the motor. And that's really all there is to it. Most of the time, if there's a malfunction in there, you can just take it apart, uh, clean up the parts, put it back together, and you're good, except for that uh, coupler, which uh, you should replace. And just to bring the point out, we just had a customer bring in a motor uh, pump he thought was bad. Well, it's not pumping any pressure. Well, if you look right here, there's a little piece of debris in there. Uh, a lot of time, just part of a seal when the lift was new, or uh, a lot of times if they're self installs, a uh, little piece of debris will get caught in there. So, all instead of spending a $500 pump, all you have to do is take the pump apart, um, take this check valve apart, clean out that little bit of material, put it back together, put you in some clean oil, and you're back in business. So, 50 bucks for some oil and a half hour of time, and you've got the thing working again. But as I've said, a lot of these use the same components. They just attach them in a different way. But here's the check valve that we were talking about that's like this, but they have it a little deeper into the tank. Here's your pickup tube and your return tubes. Some of them will have a return line um, and a return, and that's what this one has. So um, just make sure all that's clean. When you put it back together, fresh oil, and you'll be good. But like I say, common problems are a little piece of dirt in this check valve, like this one has right here, or the spline has worn out, motor's turning, but the pump is not, or it's not turning enough. Uh, those are your common problems. If you have a problem, you have a question, give us a call. There's our phone number. There's our website address. There's our location. You got a problem, you got a question, we'll be glad to help you out. We do have some repair parts for the lifts that we sell. Uh, some of those will interchange. So give us a call if you got a question or comment. Thank you.